Hello guys, this is Paul McCorder from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 29 in our incredible new tutorial series where you are learning artificial intelligence on the Jetson Nano. I'm going to need you to pour yourself a most enormous mug of iced coffee. And today, I will also need you to pour yourself a nice big glass of hot coffee. Yes, double coffee today because we have a doubly wonderful lesson. What I will need you guys to do, actually, I guess I don't need you to get out your Jetson Nano gear because really today, what I'm gonna do is just be showing you the direction that we're going and some gear that you're gonna need for the future lessons in this series. Couple of little things you're gonna need if you want to continue to follow along with me, but I will switch over to the Jetson Nano. And as I do, as always, I want to give a shout out to you guys who are helping me out over on Patreon. Your help is a huge encouragement to me, and it keeps me in premium coffee beans. You guys that are not helping out yet, think about looking down in the description down below. There's a link over to my Patreon account. Think about hopping over there and hooking a brother up. All right, enough of this shameless self-promotion. Let's talk about what we are going to be doing today. And what we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at the gear that you are going to need to move forward with uh, some of these future lessons. Now what I will do is, rather than talking about the gear, I think what I'm going to do is just show you the future direction that we're going by coming over and running my program. And you've not done this yet, and I'm not going to show you how to do it yet, but we are going to fire the program up. This one takes a second or two to get going, so we will enjoy our coffee while the program is firing up. And there we are. What you can see over there, it's hard for me to point, but in the upper left, you can see that we've trained uh, this program. This is kind of like the program that we ended up with in lesson number 28. And what you can see is we've trained it on that little blue cap. And uh, you can see that it's found the little blue cap and it's boxed it in. Now you might say, well, we've already done that. What is the big deal about that? Watch this, okay? I will turn it over and look at that. What are we doing now? The camera is actually tracking the object and is keeping it in the center of the frame. Uh-huh, boom. I think we should actually do the double chest bump more often to celebrate our successes in programming. Why let the professional football players have all the fun? They do the double chest bump when they have a success I think we should incorporate it more into programming. Leave a comment down below. Say thump thump if you agree. Okay, but now let's look at this. You see this object? It is tracking it. Now what you can see in the uh, center upper window, you can see that we have the camera mounted on a pan tilt bracket and that pan tilt bracket continuously adjusts to keep the object of interest in the center of the frame. Okay, let's just kind of let it roll around there and you can see that it's tracking pretty good. I can pick it up and I can move it over here. Also, you see I can move it diagonally and it will track it diagonally. And it really, it zooms in pretty quickly on the solution, right? And it's pretty, pretty nice and smooth tracking. Okay. All right. So that is the direction that we are going. And in order for us to do that, you are going to need to order a little bit of gear if you would like to follow along. And so let me take you over to our website, the most excellent www.toptechboy.com. And I can see now that my cool little camera is in the way. So let me see if I can move this over like this. And let's see if we can get it where you can see what you need to see. 
I think this is going to work. So what you need to do is you need to go to AI on the Jetson Nano Lesson 29 and you could just come here in the search bar and you could search on that or gear to create a pan tilt camera. Just search on something and you should come to lesson number 29. And then what I do is I show you the gear that you are going to need in order to move forward with, uh, with me on this project. Now the first thing that you can see over here in our live view, you can see that I have a Logitech webcam mounted on on this pan tilt bracket. Now some of you have the Logitech webcam and if you do I recommend that you just use that. So let me see if I can show it to you a little better here. I just recommend that you use that because that will work very well. But basically you've got two choices. You either need to get the Logitech camera if you don't have it and if you need to get it you can click right here on my link Logitech webcam and you will be brought to this page and it looks like it is about $64 on Amazon with free shipping and so that is not bad at all but what I want to show you is is that if you have the Raspberry Pi camera and if getting this new camera is a barrier to you you have another option and that is you can buy a longer cable for the Raspberry Pi camera. But you can see what our problem here is with this Raspberry Pi camera there is no way that we can take this and move it over and mount it on this pan tilt servo. The cable isn't long enough and if you tried to kludge it up then what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be pulling the cable out of the Jetson Nano and we would not want to do that. So if you are not able to afford the camera you could get this longer cable and I have got a link there to the Raspberry Pi long camera cable set and we will click on that. <clears throat> And we come over here and you can see for $10 you can get a set of uh, seven of these cables of different lengths. These two are for the Pi Zero. If you don't have a Pi Zero it's not going to be very useful to you but you get five and it is nice to have some of these laying around. So for 10 bucks you can get the cable and that would allow you to mount the camera, the Raspberry Pi camera, over on this pan tilt servo. So for 10 bucks you can solve the problem or if you want a better solution I recommend you just go ahead and use the Logitech camera. There's some things I really like about the Logitech camera. It's a little simpler and it works a little better in some applications than the Raspberry Pi camera. But that is up to you. Okay, the next thing that you're going to need is, let me see if I can show you what we're actually building. We're building this bracket, uh, this pan tilt bracket, and the pan tilt bracket has two servos and then it's got a bracket set. So the next thing that you would need if you were going to do uh, do this, you're going to need the servo set. Okay, and this is a uh, nice uh, servo set. And uh, what you can see here is it's uh, you need two, but this setup has four for $20. And these are really pretty nice servos. And so I recommend that you go ahead and buy the pack of four. That way you've got spares if you need them or you've got servos. You've got nice servos on your workbench for other projects. So I recommend that you get yourself a nice set of four of these uh, MG990. Uh, MG995 uh, servos. Okay, so in summary, what you are going to need is you're going to need either the webcam or the cable set. You're going to need the servo, and then you're going to need this pan tilt bracket set here. Okay, this pan tilt bracket set. I'll show you that over on Amazon, and it looks like that's about $13. All right, that's about $13. Sounds like this is either going to be about $50 if you just go with the cable altogether. You're going to need about $50 worth of gear if you're just going to use the camera cable or probably it's getting closer to $100 if you are going to be using uh, buying the Logitech camera. Now the final thing that you're going to need is we are going to need to control these servos from the Jetson Nano. And as of the making of this video, there is not really an easy or straightforward method for directly controlling the servos from the uh, 
from the uh, Jetson Nano. The servos operate on what's called pulse width modulation and there's not just a really rock solid and easy way right now to do pulse width modulation on the Jetson Nano. And so what you are going to need is you are going to need uh, this, uh, this servo control board which uh, let's see I thought I'd updated that let me see I can give you the number on that I do believe maybe not maybe I lied but uh, let's show it to you down here it is if I can read through this package it is the uh, PCA 9685 the PCA 9685 control board then this thing just plugs directly into the Jetson Nano with uh, with no problem at all. It plugs directly into the Chetson Nano with no problem at all and then it will very very easily control the uh, control the servos on the pan tilt head. Okay so that is pretty much what you need. You need to get either the Logitech camera or the Raspberry Pi cable. You need to get that set of servos. I recommend you use the same ones that I'm using because I know that they work well and you notice how uh, stable this thing is when nothing is happening. They're not sitting there jittering and so that's very nice. You're going to need your bracket set and then you're going to need your PCA9685 servo control board and I can show you the servo control board here and it looks like you can get two of them for ten dollars I think one of them if you buy one of them it's like seven dollars and so it just kind of makes sense to buy two of them and that way you have uh, you have what you need in, in case you want to do another project or if you need a spare you have everything that you need and so that is the equipment you're going to need now the nice thing about these uh, high let go uh, control boards is all the pins are already soldered on there and these things I think they can control up to 16 different servos at the same time so this is a really powerful little board and it's kind of a nice thing to have in your uh, little toolbox on your workbench and you can see how this thing is very easy to plug in and hook up okay so that is where we are and I'll tell you I am just so excited about this project Let's play around with it a little bit more. You see, I can just track that wherever I want to go. I could like that, okay? So that is where we are going. We are going to start tracking that object uh, with this pan tilt setup. And that really opens up a lot of neat possibilities to move there. So you guys go ahead, get your equipment ordered, and then what we are going to do, uh, let's see, what will we be doing next? I think next week probably what we will be doing is this little bracket looks really simple, but it's a little bit tedious to put together because there's no instructions with it. It's not hard at all. It's just without instructions, it's hard to do. And so I think next week I'll go through the physical assembly with you of how to get this thing put together. Then following that, the next thing that we will do is I will show you how to hook up the uh, the servo control board. And, and I think our goal in that lesson will be just to get the servo control board hooked up to the Jetson Nano and have it where it is controlling the pan tilt uh, the pan tilt head we won't be doing the tracking at that point but we'll have it where we can have the Jetson Nano move those servos where we uh, where we want and then in the following lesson I will actually catch you up and have you where you are tracking things whoa getting a little crazy there you will be tracking things live you actually can see one of the things that you do you have to deal with in a control system like this you've got kind of a trade-off between how snappy it is and how quick it responds trading that off versus how stable it is and I have this thing set to really kind of be moving fast 
And so what can happen is it sort of overshoots and sometimes you get just a little bit of ringing as it uh, zeroes in on the position. Okay, guys, this has been a short lesson and a quick lesson, but you guys need to go ahead and get your gear ordered because next week we are jumping in and we're going to start building this thing. Okay, would really appreciate it if you guys would give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel. Be sure to ring the bell so that you get notifications for my future lessons. And uh, just again, really appreciate, appreciate you guys who are helping me out over at Patreon. This is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later.